Hey y'all, welcome back to the garage. Today we're going to be back on Twisted V Twin Garage's uh, Pro Mod motor or engine, not a motor, engine. Motors are electric, engines are gas. Sorry. Anyways, uh, today we're going to be working on the oiling system. We're going to be working on the oil pump. We're going to uh, modify it so that uh, it oils better. So y'all sit back, relax, and uh, we'll get set up here and get to doing this. And by the way, Right now, go down there, hit that thumbs up button. Getting getting lots of views, not many thumbs up. You know, helps the algorithm, you know, promotes my videos. YouTube, you know, says, hey, you're doing a good job. I put on more videos. I'm happy. So, anyways, I digress. Let's get working on this here oil pump. Alright, hope you all can see here, uh, we got uh, just a standard Kohler oil pump here. Uh, it's got the rotor on the inside here. This is a used one. I did check into a new one uh, to modify, but uh, as of right now, they are not available through Kohler. I don't know if they've quit making them or if it's something to do with what's going on in the world. But either way, uh, this one doesn't look real bad. There's a little bit of scoring along the edges, but I don't think that's going to matter a whole lot because it does it doesn't uh, it doesn't wiggle in there or anything. Um, the way this works is it picks up the oil, brings it up, picks it up through here, brings it up through the back side, compresses it, and shoots it out the other side. What we're going to be working on today is in this little hole right here. Uh, there is a roll pin right there. There's a spring in here and a little seat. This is the relief valve. Uh, if memory serves me correct, the stock oil pumps put out right around 40, 45 PSI. Uh, we want to up that. Uh, when we turn these things, you know, 8, 10,000 RPMs, we want that oil to be uh, high pressure, get it up there, you know, lubricate all the bearings, all the you know everything that's in there so what we're gonna do is I got this little jig I made up and just whoop, I can take that rotor out of there it sits in here supports this little thing here and I got a bolt that I put in here just to make things stay in place and then we're gonna take a drift a little drift punch here and I'm trying to do this so you guys can see what I'm doing but you know and we're just gonna we're gonna start that down out of there. And then I have a little thing I made up, just a cut off bolt with a notch in it. And I kind of put it in there, and I kind of hold my hand across the end of it like that. And I need to get my other drift. It's a little narrower. Drive that out of there, and that should be far enough that. Nope, I gotta go a little further. Okay, I gotta find my other drift. Uh, this one's too tapered. We'll bring you right back, and we'll finish getting that out of there. All right, guys, sorry about that. I didn't click the camera on. Uh, I just took that little screwdriver, finished popping that uh, roll pin down out of there, and then easily let that come out. There's our spring. Down there's our uh, roll pin right there. And see if I can't get that uh, get that plunger to come out of there. Like I said, this is a used pump. Yeah, it should be in a little bit of a little bit of a pain in the butt here. There it comes. There might be a little bit of grit or something up in there to that's not letting it come out. That's probably what it is. Anyways. Anyways, I'll get that out of there and I'll show you all what it looks like. Alright y'all. You guys can see. It's just a little, little piece here, 
there's a little bit of wear on it. There was a little bit of a burr where that roll pin, where the roll pin was put through here. Uh, probably from the factory, no big deal. But got it out, and the way this thing works is your your spring goes in that, in this little cup here, like that. And then the spring tension makes this seat against the seat that's down in this hole. And that's what, it's a relief valve for your oil pressure. Uh, what we're going to do is, I like to, I used to cut little pieces of metal put in there, but I found out that these little, these little, uh, I think they're five millimeter flat washers, or flat washers for a five millimeter bolt, they are perfectly sized to fit down in the hole for the, uh, where the roll pin goes. So what I do is I put them on the back side here and that just puts a little bit more tension on there. And being this is a unknown uh, oil pump, uh, I think I'm gonna use two of them. Uh, but I'm gonna get this all cleaned up first before we do any of that. Little brake parts cleaner, maybe throw it in the ultrasonic cleaner. And uh, yeah, we. I'd like to get it up around 80 90 psi that way it uh it will you know get the lube going through get the oil going through good and strong and uh keep all them bearings and stuff well lubricated uh, like i said these things you know we spin them pretty fast and i just want to make sure that it uh it does get uh, oiled well so let me get these pieces cleaned up and uh we'll start reassembling this all right y'all Got all the parts out of the uh, out of the uh, ultrasonic cleaner there. Sorry, I had a little brain fart. And man, if y'all don't have an ultrasonic cleaner and you have the opportunity to get one, do it. I mean, that is the awesome, most awesome way to clean stuff. You know. So let's get this back here in the fixture. We'll start reassembling this thing here. Okay, got that back in there. Got our little plunger here. Uh, uh, I'll slide that back in there. And of course, I shouldn't put it in dry. So let me uh, let me grab a little oil here. We'll bring you right back. All right, guys, we're back. Got a little of the uh, same oil that we run in our engines. It's Schaefer's racing oil. It's the SAE 30. Uh, it's got extra zinc in it. It's meant for extreme conditions like we do. So I got a little bit in a cap here. So let's lube that up. Make sure you put the flat end in. Slide that up in there. Got that up in there. Next comes the spring. Get that pushed up in there. And while I was waiting on the ultrasonic cleaner, I uh, I decided I'm only going to put one of the uh, spacers in there, shims in there. Uh, if it needs more, we can pull the engine back apart and uh, and get it uh, get another one in there. But for now, we're just gonna do the one. I got my little tool in there. We're just gonna tap that back down in there. Bring it down to the flush where it's flush here. I'll be flush on the other side. And uh, right there you go, guys. That's uh, how we shim them to create more oil pressure. And now, when you do put these things back together, uh, I don't know if you all can see here. I'll show you. I'll try to show you. There's a little dot. Let me get a pointing device. There's a little dot right there. And then you'll have one on your rotor here. Find it here. Right there. You know. If you got when you put them back together you got to line them up and like I said before I'm gonna put a little cut of oil on here you know just to just to help with assembly just put a little bit in there get that set up there find my dot and we're gonna line them up if we can there they are you guys can see that there. 
those two dots right there and there are lined up so that one right there and that one right there they're lined up there you go give her a little spin here seems nice and smooth now when we uh when we uh go to put this in the engine this is the oil pickup here uh very common for the Kohler commands there's supposed to be a little arm that comes up and latches in this little notch right here uh, if you guys can see that you know when they go in they go in this way kind of fit up in there nice and tight there's no ring on the end and there's supposed to be a little plastic thing that comes up there and locks that in there well very common from the break and uh, uh, these things will fall off and land in the bottom of your uh, oil pan and then of course you lose oil pressure and uh, you destroy your motor engine sorry engine so what I do is I take a little piece of wire make it a wrap around there uh, I don't know if I'll be able to show you guys <coughs> excuse me uh, show you guys me doing it but uh, I wrap a little piece of wire around there and I bring it up over these two ears here and kind of just twist it in there just to make sure uh, I have used silicone on them before good stuff the uh, adhesive uh, I don't know I won't do it on this one here uh, just because I don't want to do it on this motor this engine so let me uh, get this wired up here and uh, we'll bring you back whenever I get it done and I'll show you what it looks like all right guys there we have it you guys can see that little wire I go down the way I do it is I go around it kind of cross it over bring it up and around and then twist it off to the side and there's your pickup it's in uh, that it will not come out of there now so a little reassurance there for us that uh, this is all good to go and uh, whenever we go to put it in the engine it does rotate a little bit but it won't hurt anything you know uh, if you think it's going to hurt something we can you can put a another piece of wire down around here you know bring it up for it stays square uh, I've never had an issue with them moving or not picking up oil so there you have it so all right let's uh let's do an outro on this air video all right y'all there you have it uh how to redo a uh, core command oil pump make it have a little bit more oil pressure there a little sustainability for your engine everything and uh how to do a quick fix on that oil pickup uh like i said a lot of times we'll put a little silicone around there or uh, i like using the good stuff uh that's a brand name not a sponsor or anything but uh anyways uh hope you guys enjoy it i know this has kind of been a long drawn out process on this engine uh i apologize for that but uh these things are not cheap to build uh parts uh with what's going on some of the parts are hard to get uh machine shops are backed up you know uh when they when they opened everything back up a lot of the machine shops got really super busy uh they uh they got backed up you know we we kind of have a little in they try to get our stuff in and out you know but uh it is what it is so uh but with getting the cam and crank shims in and getting this oil pump uh ready to go uh that should be the last thing on the inside of the engine that has to be done uh we can get that you know get that buttoned up and everything and there's just a few more things uh to to go uh basically the uh intake manifold and the carburetor get that on there exhaust and then we uh we got to put the ignition system on uh all that's fairly easy stuff uh we're still we did get a custom intake made uh don't, i don't remember if i showed you all that i think i showed it to you but i didn't show you after we got it off and looked at it it's uh it's not the best uh it was an experimental thing we don't think it's gonna gonna work right so we're going to uh try to get a pre-manufactured one uh we're working on getting that right now uh mark is from twisted v twin garage so there you have it guys uh that's where it's at with that engine 
uh, hopefully in about a mother month we'll have it uh, fired up and running if we can get the intake manifold so uh, appreciate y'all watching uh, as always please give me a thumbs up uh, thumbs up plays into the algorithms they uh, they promote the video more uh, I'm trying to get this channel to be self-sustaining with the in with the income from the from the uh, ad revenue and stuff uh, so please uh, you know give a thumbs up subscribe that helps too. ring the bell get the, all the notifications for everything we do you know all the videos that come out whether it's cooking videos or videos out here in the garage or videos at the tractor pools or whatever um, love my fans thank you all that's stuck around for this for this amount of time and uh you know we'll, we'll catch you on the next one here guys so oh and don't forget the weekly live streams uh we do that every seven saturday or sunday night sorry twisted v twin garage is on saturday nights at 7 p.m eastern time i'm on sunday nights 7 p.m eastern time so come check us out hang out with us you know join the discussion so all right i'm rambling tend to do that here every once in a while so I'm going to shut this off. I'm going to get back to work on some other stuff, uh, maybe some more videos for y'all, and uh, we'll catch y'all on the next one. Thanks.